Thanks for tuning in on another episode of the Hunter ADOS Link series. Today, we've got a 2021 Audi Q3, where we're gonna go ahead and calibrate the windshield camera. This windshield was replaced with OEM glass. That is very, very important to remember. As a technician, I am seeing more and more techs having issues with non-OEM or aftermarket glass causing calibration issues, mounting issues with the camera. I can't stress it enough. Make sure you're using OEM glass and all the manufacturers will tell you the same thing. This vehicle was involved in a little bit of a fender bender and the windshield needed replaced. So of course, anytime you remove the camera and reinstall it, you've got to calibrate it. We're going to do that next. Let's go ahead and go through the calibration procedure on our Audi Q7. Go ahead and hook up your VCI, which I've already done underneath the dash. We're gonna turn the key on and we're gonna let it auto ID the VIN for us. We're gonna go ahead and cycle the ignition as requested by the ADOS link. Before we go ahead and hit the ADOS calibration button, the first thing that you wanna do with any calibration you do is perform a pre-scan to check for DTCs that could have happened during the windshield replacement or that could affect the calibration as well. So we're gonna go ahead and select read DTCs. I'm gonna select all the modules this will take some time, so be patient, and we'll press continue. And again, I'm gonna select pre-scan here. The great thing about the ADOS link and the Hunter itself is that it's going to save reports for you. So when I do a pre-scan, it's going to save that as a pre-scan report. Once I've done the actual calibration, it will save a report of a successful calibration, hopefully, and also a post-scan. So you'll have all three of these that you can provide to your customer and keep a copy for your records as well. We're gonna select pre-scan and now it's going to check all of the DTCs, all of the modules that are in this car right now. Be patient, there are 754 modules that the Hunter ADOS link is going to go through right now. This probably will take a lot longer than the actual calibration, but it's gotta be done. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go through the scan. The great thing is through editing, it'll seem like no time, but when you're in the shop, just be patient. It finished its scan of all 754 modules. Took a little bit of time as you can see, but this is another great feature about the Hunter ADOS link right here is the ability to add photos to your report. Maybe you had, mm, a non-OEM glass and, and you wanted to take a picture of that, you could do that and add that. Maybe you were suspecting that the glass wasn't OEM, so you're gonna, or maybe you had a mounting issue with the camera and it didn't look right, so you're gonna take a picture of that. Or maybe you had some damage to the car that you wanted to document as well. These are all things that you can do at this point to add to that report. We're not adding anything at this time, but you have that ability. It's another great feature of the ADOS link. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the driver assistance systems to see if there's any DTCs. And front driver assistance, I don't have any DTCs. That means we're good to go. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and press the back button and get into our ADOS calibration. Select ADOS calibration, give it a moment. It looks like there's nothing right here that we can do to this vehicle, but it does take a moment for Audi to kind of send it over as it's looking right now for its special tests and we're gonna wait for it to find the front camera one. It'll take just a moment. We have everything we need here in front of us to do this calibration. The only other additional tool you'll need is to be able to measure the wheel height or the uh, ride height on this vehicle. It's millimeters. That'll be in your ADOS accessory kit that comes with your actual system. So we're gonna select front facing camera and we're gonna walk through this step by step. So here's the lane departure, there we go. Select a no for the radio. I'm 
All right, so the equipment needed, as I said before, was the ADOS rack itself. We'll also need the special target board that's here on this, our wheel clamps. And we're gonna walk through this step-by-step step so you can see how to do this in your shop. So from here, we're gonna press continue. I'm not gonna skip through these. I wanna show you step-by-step step on how to set this up or else why would you watch? So again, perform the calibration when the camera was replaced, windshield was replaced, DTC's alignment as well. This is something that's starting to see a lot more. Anytime you do an alignment on a vehicle, you're gonna also wanna have to do the calibrations on these systems. I'm gonna press continue. Remember, your preconditions are always very important. Level surface, good lighting, correct air pressure in the tires, no excessive weight in the vehicle. These are all things that we have talked about at countless times throughout all of our ADOS videos here on Hunter. So we'll press continue. You'll see your space requirements right there. Go ahead and hook up your cameras. Our cameras are hooked up and our distance required is 1500 millimeters. That's per the factory, that is correct. We can press continue. And now it's gonna have us install our wheel clamps. You'll notice one's on the left front and one's on the right rear. Got a bubble level on top of your target boards. Make sure that that's centered. I've got those set up, we'll press continue. Make sure when you get this all set up that you have a clear image of the target boards. If not, your lighting could be off or something could be interfering. Go ahead and press continue. Now it's gonna ask you to move the left front to the rear. Now we're gonna move the rack to the required position that it's asking for on our diagram right here. Once you're lined up, go ahead and press continue. And then it's also gonna, after this, ask you to go ahead and lock the DOS 3000 into place. Press continue, and we'll move on to the next step. Next, it's gonna ask us to install our target board. We're gonna use our hangers, number one, at position C of the ADOS, the DOS 3000 rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up, and we're gonna center that board as well. Position C. is marked on the DOS 3000 rack. Tighten those down. We'll grab our board. There is an arrow on this that tells you which way is up on this board. And we're gonna align the arrows on the lower half of the board to center it. We'll slide that down. We're set up right now. We'll go ahead and press continue. Position two, make sure you're level. If not, fine tune right here. Nice level floor, we're good to go. I'll press continue. Disconnect the USB cable. And step away from the calibration area. They kind of trick you here because I'll step away from the calibration area, but then I have to go right back into it <laughs> and measure the wheel height. So I'll press continue right now. It also tells you at this point if there is any type of uh, suspension leveling control to set it to comfort and make sure everything levels out accordingly. I've already done that when I pulled this vehicle in here, so we're good to go. I'm gonna press continue. 
It says calibration in progress. That's a lie. It kicks you back out. And now it's going to ask for the wheel height. So you're going to go from the top arch down to the floor and you do it on all four corners. Don't assume these vehicles are the same height on all four corners. And don't assume that the front and the rear is exactly the same because it's not. I'm just gonna put that right back in the dock here and I'm gonna go around and measure all of the heights or the ride height in all four corners. Make sure you grab your millimeter as well, not any inches or you're gonna have to do some math, so. Go ahead and press continue. And next it's gonna ask you to enter the values of all four corners. And like I said, they weren't the same front to rear. It was actually 83 front, 85 rear. So we're gonna enter that accordingly. Once you have your values in, this is when you can go ahead and press continue. Asking to verify that the values are correct, which they are, we'll press yes. And now the calibration actually is in progress at this point. And hopefully we'll have a successful calibration here in just one moment. Calibration was successfully completed. It also did now go ahead and generate a report for the customer and for your records as well, showing that the calibration was done correctly and it was successful. If I press continue now, it's just gonna ask me to go ahead and cycle the key off for 10 seconds and then back on. And it's in the, just gonna kick me out of the ADOS after that. But always follow what it says on the screen to do. So the switch is off, it asks to stay calm for 10 seconds. Then it's gonna ask us to turn it back on. After we went ahead through, a, uh, went through our ignition cycling, it took us right back to the main ADOS calibration screen. At this point, we have successfully calibrated that front windshield camera. With any ADOS system, after you are done, make sure to take it for a test drive and verify the system works as intended before returning it to the customer. After your test drive, go ahead and do a post scan, save a copy of that as well making sure that there is no DTC set as a result of the calibration procedure. Again, you'll have a pre-scan, a post-scan, and a calibration report as well to provide to your customer that you can print out or email to them, proving everything was done correctly and showing anything else that was going on with the vehicle. At this point, I'm gonna go take it for a test drive and hopefully get it back to the customer. Make sure to check out many, many more of these Hunter ADOS type videos on different systems that you can do in your shop. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on another one.